Hello, and welcome to Google Associate Cloud Engineer exam preparation. The focus of this learning path is to prepare you for Google's Associate Cloud Engineer exam. However, if you're not planning on sitting the exam, this learning path will help you get started on your way to becoming a Google Associate Cloud Engineer. My name's Thomas Mitchell, and I'm a GCP course author at Cloud Academy. The Associate Cloud Engineer exam will test your knowledge in several key subject areas. You'll be expected to understand how to set up a cloud solution environment using Google Cloud Platform services and solutions. You'll also need to know how to plan, configure, deploy, and implement cloud solutions using the GCP platform. Lastly, you'll need to be able to maintain successful operation of cloud solutions deployed on the Google Cloud Platform. This learning path has been designed to align closely with the published learning objectives covered by the Google Associate Cloud Engineer exam. That being the case, we'll cover the setup of cloud projects and accounts along with billing configuration management on the platform. We'll also tackle the installation and configuration of the command line interface. Next, we'll dive into the pricing calculator and how to plan and estimate GCP product pricing. After covering the calculator, we'll get into planning and configuring GCP compute resources, data storage options, and network resources. As you progress through this learning path, you'll learn how to deploy and implement compute engine resources, Google Kubernetes engine resources, App Engine, Cloud Run, and Cloud Functions resources. You'll also learn how to deploy and implement data solutions as well as network resources. After you've learned all that, you'll learn how to deploy solutions using Cloud Marketplace and how to deploy application infrastructure using Cloud Deployment Manager. Later in this learning path, you'll learn how to manage the resources that you deploy. You'll also learn how to manage storage solutions, database solutions, and networking resources. Rounding out this learning path, we'll cover identity and access management, service account management, and auditing for project and managed services. We certainly have lots of ground to cover, so let's get started. 